Scott Thomas here from Fishing World Magazine. I'm here with Ashley Farage from Web Marine in Sydney South. How are you going, Ashley? Good, yourself? Good. Um, we're here on the uh, sailfish um, sh uh, shelf runner and uh, on Bodney Bay. We've also been testing the reef runner today. Uh, it's a nice, uh, nice beamy boat, nice roomy boat for fishing. Um, Ashley, can you maybe tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, definitely. The new shelf runner was uh, developed uh, to, we had so much, re uh, our customers were demanding, you know, uh, that we reintroduce these boats. These boats were famous in the late 90s. These are totally new models. So what we've done is taken a lot of knowledge of it out of our big boats and put them into these new uh, shelf runner and reef runner. Uh, so these boats do have a really beamy uh, 2.45 metre beam. They have our remain focus has been on you know emphasising as much cockpit space as we can. What we've done with these is really focused on fishability for our clients who really have that fishing focus. Um, nice big walk through transom. You can fish right out to the back of the boat, especially if you're in a large fish and you want to walk it around to the other side of the boat or get a big fish in onto the deck of your boat. Um, you have a cutting board well positioned. You've got handrails positioned all the way around your boat. We've got well positioned stainless steel rod holders along the gunnels. What we've done here is focused on uh, getting a really nice gunnel height. We've made the gunnels with a nice rolled edge so they're really easy up on the thighs if you're fighting a fish for a long time. Plus, for those guys that are bottom bashing, you get an easy one to set along the side of. And powering this boat, we've got a pair of Honda 75 horsepower fuel injected four strokes. This boat gives sensational performance uh, while still remaining ultra economical. Um, also, we've got driving this being a true catamaran, so you've got um, twin fuel systems, twin battery systems, and twin electrical systems. So you've always got one as a backup um, should anything go wrong. Uh, very rare these days with the modern technology engines are. Um, what's, the, uh, what's the maximum horsepower? The maximum on this boat is 90 horsepower, which will give you a little bit better top end. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh, generally mid-range performance will be very, very similar. So yep. that's why the 75s have just proved to be a really great balance combination. Mm -hmm. Down here, we've got um, raised off the floor our batteries, fuel filter water separator, primer bulb, and all your pumps, uh, which is nice because it keeps it all out of the water. You've got salt water deck washer standard. That's a high pressure deck wash as well. Now actually this is an interesting feature, live bait tank uh, underneath the passenger seat. Can you show us that? Sure. Uh, so, so often that uh, areas like this aren't utilised properly, so we've done here, we've put in a really generous size live bait tank. Uh, standard on this boat is a dual bullhorn hydraulic steering. You've got a full instrument cluster. We've got a combination sounder, GPS and chart plotter, the Garmin 750S. Fusion uh, AM FM CD player, or you can choose an iPod stereo system as well. VHF radio is standard. You've got a six switch waterproof switch panel down the side. Compass is standard, and as always, we use a genuine uh, dual binnacle um, control uh, by Honda. And I notice there's plenty of room there for a larger screen if, if you opt to um, go for the larger marine electronics. Definitely, definitely. A lot of guys now are going the 10 and 12 inch screen, so there's plenty of room on that dash. We can relocate your AM FM uh, stereo and um, you can get an accommodated 12 inch screen, screen right in that dash there. Excellent. What about the clears? Do they, they come standard? They definitely do come standard. So you've got front and side clears uh, attached to your bimini. Uh, these also have the roll up um, windows in the front there for a nice ventilation and, and good visibility. Mm -hmm. I also notice the uh, flip up seating here so you, can, so you can stand or sit down. They've been very, very popular. So you've got, you know, while you're standing up, have the bolster flipped up, and while you're sitting down, you've got that extra support under the back of your knees. So yeah, great for that rough weather traveling. Great idea. And what have we got up the front here? Just a bit of storage for gear? Yep, so you've got a nice big storage area. Also a great area to put a porta potty um, you know, for family usage. The cabin door uh, does lock as well and that just slides over and is lockable as well.